Hey there guys, we're taking a look at the forest running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U. Now the game is currently running with the lowest in-game graphics settings, which is the very low preset. And of course we are running this at the stock 15 watt TDP, and we are at the full 1080p resolution. And if you see the FPS that we're getting here, it is kind of rough. Right now I'm just roaming around trying to find a nice spot to build a house. And you'll see that the averages that we're getting are pretty much just a frame below 30 but our one percent loads are relatively close to what our average is and if you pay attention to those frame times they are very consistent there are just the occasional spikes here and there but overall it's a pretty flat experience so it actually does not feel super terrible to play it definitely doesn't feel great but it can definitely be worse i was actually surprised by how smooth it felt considering the fps that we're, we were getting but it's the fact that it's at least consistent that makes the overall experience here pretty much doable but it is pretty much just bordering on the edge of playability where any major drops from here are going to push us into very very annoying territory so while you can definitely play like this i would really just recommend not we can of course raise the tdp up to 25 watts to see if that can actually improve the experience over the stock 15 watts unfortunately it doesn't lead to any major performance differences all it really does is just smooth out the overall experience here so you're getting a pretty rock solid 30 fps gaming experience while playing at 1080p with the 25 watt tdp but that's about it you can't really expect much more than that overall we just saw a bump in the one percent lows but not really to the averages at all we're pretty much just seeing a two fps jump in the averages which means that we're just slightly above 30 in terms of overall experience it pretty much feels identical to where we were at at stock with just the occasional stutter not happening as frequently so not a night and day difference for sure there is at least some measurable improvement but it's not significant at all and this gives me very little hope for the overall performance that we're probably going to be getting out of the 30 watt tdp and you can definitely see that overall the experience is not that different from where we were at really from even stock except we are now pumping out a lot more heat there is of course an improvement in the one percent lows and if you look at the frame times they do stay very very flat and consistent so that's really where you see the biggest gains when it comes to turning up the TDP. It's just in those frame times being very, very consistent and those 1% lows being pretty rock solid compared to the averages that we're getting. But in general, it's just not going to be an amazing experience. And really at this point, we're just left with dropping the resolution down. So if we go down to 900p, we can actually see what that does to our overall gaming experience. And 900p actually does a nice bump in the overall experience here in the sense that our one percent lows are now going to stay pretty much at around 30 and our averages are in the mid 30s now but really it is not a substantial gain at all but we're now at the stock tdp and we're having a very very consistent experience here so if you're playing at stock i would honestly recommend just dropping down to 900p and getting a nice bump overall because at 1080p our one percent lows were going down low enough that it might get annoying in extremely heavy areas here you get a little bit of headroom overall you're gonna have a slightly better experience but the game is very very heavy for this chip and you might even need to go down to 720p and of course you'll see that raising the tdp up to 25 watts does a nice enough job in raising our averages to where we're now in the 40 range but our one percent lows did not see any major improvement whatsoever overall the experience is at least nice enough to play though just don't expect any miracles here really overall this is the best gaming experience that we've gotten out of the game so far though and i would say that it's well within the range where i would deem this to be perfectly playable and we didn't have to sacrifice too much in terms of the resolution because dropping down to 720p in this game does look pretty rough so overall just being able to get this level of performance at the 25 watt tdp at 900p is if you ask me a win the game is going to be perfectly playable like this this is probably how i would actually end up playing it if i was looking to play it on this system but really overall it's not the kind of game that i personally will continue to play on here i tend to go for more lighter games that get overall better performance but really at 900p getting a 40 fps average with one percent lows in the 30s and frame times that look that smooth it's a very doable experience and i really would be surprised to see anybody complain about the level of fps 
that we're getting here, especially for such a budget system. And of course, we'll quickly take a look at what a 30 watt TDP ends up doing here. And honestly, we're looking at some pretty rock solid 1% lows now. And our averages, while still remaining in the 40 range, we now have very, very consistent 1% lows to our averages, where they're almost identical here, where this is about as consistent of a 40 FPS average as you can have. And our frame times are looking extremely smooth. So it really seems like this game responds heavily to higher TDP. So if you're on one of those systems that can actually handle that, it might be a good move to go with the higher TDP, even if you're starting to get into some higher temperatures. Now, obviously don't risk your hardware for this, but if you're getting into the high 70s or even low 80s, it might be a move to play like this just because it felt super, super smooth. This was the best experience that I managed to get out of this. So obviously you can still do it at all of the other settings. No, no single setting felt like it was in super unplayable territory. It just all depends on how flexible you are about FPS. But anyways, I will catch you guys in the next one.